in Survivor and especially in the new era, anything can change with a puzzle. Hello, everybody. My name is Randy Bruce, and today I am joined by my colleague, as I always am, or almost always am. I am joined by Eric Abraham from Season 41 of Survivor. And today we have the Mergatory episode, and a lot went down. And I'm, Abraham, I'm just going to say it, man. I had fun. I actually you really didn't... had fun. If you didn't join us for the pre-show, you, you missed out on some of the greatest conversations towards tonight episode. And let me tell you, it all came true. So, some, some they, so yeah, they kicked off. They kicked off with the oh, everybody's gonna drop your buff as soon as as soon as it started. As soon as it started. So we, we see where uh Sega didn't get a chance to go. Who was it? Sega? Yeah, Sega didn't get an immunity idol, so they were stuck out in the dark on that one. But we did get to see what happens now. If you were looking for the, Ameri uh, the hidden immunity idol and you don't get it because your tribe loses. So I thought it was a good layout plan for the clue and just to get the episode kicked off. Now we got new tribe mates coming. We got the merge coming, but we also got time to get that idol. Uh, there was so much that happened this episode. There was really, really good gameplay from a lot of people. And I mean, a few people had exceptional gameplay throughout. And that was the thing. I did something new for this episode. I mean, everyone has known that I've been very critical this season of the new era and how it's getting old. It's like rinse and repeat. So going into this episode, what I did is I actually put my phone down. I'm not going to take notes. I'm not going to write notes. I'm not going to type out notes. And I'm just going to enjoy the episode for what it is. So I, as we recap what we just saw, if we forget something, bear with us. Because I, I don't have any notes in front of me. So I remember the big moments. Abraham probably took some notes. But yeah, I, I genuinely enjoyed watching that. This, this was fun. And don't forget, if you are viewing, you can join our live chat. We are live on SurvivorNowPodcast.com on X. And then here on YouTube, Georgette is here in the chat getting us started. Georgette. So glad Venus, my fellow Canadian. Venus was actually in Pittsburgh tonight, Abraham. You were wondering She's where she was. in Pittsburgh. Was she was on the live, and she was also with Matthew, uh, giving a shout-out to Ollie, which was cool. So uh, good to see you, Venus, out there. A Survivor I, I Now mean, podcast. Abraham, I'll say I was very scared for Venus tonight. Everybody knows, like, Venus is quickly becoming – my favorite, and and we'll get to Mo's elimination here in a little bit. But I was so scared because we saw so much of Venus tonight. There was so many confessionals. She was talking about how she was ready to jump ship. She was talking about how like she's the real queen and and whatnot. And and we saw this. You know, it was really interesting tonight with Venus. Um, and I'm playing a little favoritism here, pulling her up first. She was the first person yes, I wanted is. to talk about. But it was really interesting the fact that she was told by Yanu, who really had control of this vote tonight, vote Mo or it's you going home. And we saw Venus kind of go, uh, I, I don't want Mo to go home. I don't want another woman to go home. A man should be going home tonight. And it was really interesting to see this because she almost talked herself out of the game because she was just playing too hard and she like spooked people like Q. You know what? I, I find it interesting that people will assign you a capability based off of who you identify within Survivor. Who do you like as Survivor? Oh, I, I like this player. I want to play like this player. Now you take into consideration how that player plays and why that player played that way. Um, a player that I think is going to get voted out next is Tim. <laughs> I think Tim is gone. Tim is, Tim is a little indecisive. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how he continues to move through uh, as we move towards the end. It, it was, you know what? It was a lot of things building up, which I loved because we had the hidden immunity out of will he find it? Will he not find it? And I'm like, on those steps, I'm I'm pretty sure they said how many steps in the clue. So he sat on the first step, couldn't find it, sits on the second step and is like, OK, I find a big knob. I was like, where's that knob come from? And there there's there's a key. So we have all this climax going up before we even get to Mo and Venus and the feast and the challenge. I think it was segmented just right. So we had a lot just to say, oh man, what's going to happen after the commercial break? So we see the first one is, hey, Hunter finds the hidden immunity idol. And Abraham, he, hey, look, I was, I was look, look, wondering, look. I asked about Venus and you're talking about the immunity you know, idol. No, because Venus, look, Venus was in every edit. We knew that she was going to be a target. Everybody talked about her. 
So in my mind, I was like, if everybody's talking about her, she's not going home. Yeah, but okay. Well, I get that. But the thing with Venus, um, before we move on to Hunter's Idol, is I I honestly feel like she I feel like she's a good game player. Like I was thinking this during the episode. I almost feel like Venus is a better player if she played pre 40. Like I you take Venus and you put her in a, a 30 season or a 20 season, and I think she's right in her element. She is playing the game, but I don't think it's too like she's trying to find a home. I saw someone on X uh, post a message that said, you know, someone give my homeless girls Venus a home. She's she's going to Sega. She's like, I want to work with you guys. And they're like, ah, oh, we're kumbaya. We don't really want to split it up. She's going to Yanu and say, I want to work with you guys. Uh, I don't know. You're kind of shifty. We don't really trust you. And then obviously nami doesn't trust her because they're throwing her name out all night so i'm like i feel like venus is a really good player that just has been put on a cast of people who just don't vibe nah. with her for whatever reason you know whatever tevin had with her when it first started that's carried over so he's not going to trust her and i think the one ally she did have he got injured and he got taken out of the game but we also see where her and soda have a conversation where venus is basically saying hey we used to talk all the time what happened Getting to see more camp life, you kind of see what happens to those relationships as well. So I think where Venus is sitting at right now is she needs a new group of people. So I think it was yeah. an excellent place this evening, but she needed a new group more than anybody. And that has happened. So she's now at the merger toy part of the game where now she can kind of feel some other people out. But again, you still carrying the weight of what your tribe thinks about you. And that's what happened. But we also see where her and Soda agrees on some things now. So it's kind of going back and forth. We're getting a lot of edits of Venus, but we're also seeing how everybody else is trying to make their decisions. So as we move through this, we get there, we see Venus. Okay, she's there now. But she's already made her play to say, hey, Soda, why, why haven't we spoken? What, what's going on with our relationship? And she said, you can still talk to me. And it's like, we see certain parts of that, but we also don't get to see the whole thing because it's not two hours long. It was two hours long. We could figure it out. But oh, man, I would have more survivor. Give us more oh, yeah. survivor. I mean, I want to see camp life. I'll just say that I, I think Soda agrees with me because as Venus was speaking and we know they haven't gotten along the entire game almost. But as she was speaking, Soda was kind of like, oh, you know what? That does make a lot of sense. So maybe there's an avenue that they can work together in the future. But I do like the fact that you brought up the argument. This was one of my favorite points of the episode moments. There were so many good moments. But mm. this was one of my favorite moments because I felt like the editing team did a great job here. And this connects to what you wanted to talk about, Abraham, with Hunter's idol that we talked about in the pre-show. He's looking for this idol. And I'm sure it's just the editor's job of how they work this. I'm sure it didn't happen at the exact yes. same time. But we see Venus and Soda arguing. And, and you brought it up, Venus being like, we used to talk. And so to say, I don't know what there is to talk about. And Venus just goes, just talk to me. We don't have to talk strategy. Let's just talk about like stuff we're be, into. Like make that. Yeah. Make, make that. Also, she, she, also, she also dug her bed with a lot of stuff. With Hunter, she basically dug her grave with Hunter. I mean, so she's done some things that we haven't seen that they didn't just come to those conclusions. But again, let's, let's back up for a second. Let's go back to Hunter. First of all, for all you future players out there, disguise your movement. Hunter out there flying. He's like, I'm flying. I love this. We're about to do the merge. I, I he love this. He, he darted um, immediately. And I I, I think it was a then great way. You, he... you had Soda. She was flying. She was like, why are we running on the beach? Hunter like, I got to get back to this clue box. I Hunter, what's going Hunter on. literally booked it. Hunter was like, yay, merge. He was gone. <laughs> they all said, Look, I love Hunter's just, and you know what Hunter said? This is the same speech every future player needs to says, and nobody knows I have the idol. Nobody yeah. knows. No, he no went one, out there, he found tell. it, picked it out. Yep. Now he has it. Because then he's, he's so open with the fact that he ain't got a vote. He's like, I ain't got no vote. So, well, you hey, look, you can definitely, I can't vote nobody out tonight, which was a good play for him all the way around. I think if I had to give out who was the best player of this episode, I would have to say Hunter. Because he spoke from start to finish. He spoke at the beginning and he's going to speak at the end. So I think he gave a lot to how this whole thing played out. And then everybody else kind of threw some pieces in the middle. But also we see what happens with Tim and Maria. 
The one was the one you said, oh, they got a tight relationship. No, they don't. Well, I got I got I gotta slow you down, Abraham. We're only 10 Bring minutes in and you've already covered like four topics. <laughs> you like to Bring move. You're like, let's go to this. Let's go back. It's I'm hot. Like, it's hot. Let's, it's hot in here. Let's spend some time on the on the hunter idol here that, that took place. I know we've been talking was, about look, I would definitely get that box and put it in my bag and bring home. Oh, that's such a nice box. That's it, that's honestly a super I'm nice taking box. that box. You're not getting no, that I, box back. I thought it was a great strategy. I the fact that he was like, hey, you know, let's use my excitement to to make people think that I'm just running around excited because you know we're we're at the mergatory, we're at the merge, whatever you want to call it. He finds the box. And this was this was very interesting. He figured out almost immediately, Abraham, from what we saw that yo, that step line stands out and it's got to be under the steps. And one thing about Hunter and Hunter's my winner pick. I'm getting nervous for Hunter because the dude's smart. He can figure stuff out like that, even though everyone gave him crap for not figuring out the logos last week. The dude is smart. Oh, yeah, those are. We've seen him in challenges. Like physically, the dude is really good. We heard Tevin a few weeks ago, and I'm going to say this, and everyone's going to be like, ah, he brought up the moment. We heard Tevin a few weeks ago literally say, once Hunter gets those balls in his hands, it's over. <laughs> so this man can pretty much do anything. And the only question that you had about Hunter going into this episode, and we'll talk about the challenge later, was. Can he do puzzles? That was the only question. Well, duh, he can do puzzles. He's he had puzzles at he home. Has, exactly. He has a thing. whole he has a whole room of puzzles, and he killed it on the puzzle. And then you even heard Tevin once again say, "Man, Tev or Hunter is a puzzle whiz." By the way, Tevin, you got to stop saying your number one ally in the game is such a big threat when people are standing right next to you. Look, but I mean, this, but you got to call it like you see it sometimes, and sometimes you get caught up in the moment, and he's like, because. He needed to be a whiz. It, it wasn't it, – it, we're going to get to that. I'm not even going to go that far. But you know what? <laughs> I like the fact that Hunter, he got the idol. I, you know what? His pre-bio stuff did not say he was going to be that good. It He's was just really – was, It was kind of boring, and I was like, ah, oh, he's just going to be there. And I'm like, but Hunter has emerged as a threat in the game of Survivor. And if you don't notice that as a player, you're about to get voted out because Hunter's there to play. He's really turned into, we heard it episodes ago when they referred to him as the, the survivor MacGyver. I didn't even mention the fact he's good at physical challenges. He's good at puzzles. He's smart and he can build stuff around camp. Like he's he'd useful at bed. camp. he make you a bitch here, but you're still going to be <laughs> the same, but it's going to still be a bitch here. Is he too good, Abraham? Cause I believe I saw Omar might've been the one who, who posted a message online that said Hunter is really that good at this game. I give them three episodes tops. So here's the thing. When we switch over to individual immunity, that is when you're going to start to see who's going to be aligned with who, which brings us back to the, the, the journey agreement. Yes. Everybody picks their number one. Now, if they can hold to that, they can eliminate a lot of folks before it gets down to them. It's a lot of people can go before they go, but here's here, but here's the cracks already. Hunter is good with Tevin. They locked in. Q is locked in with Tiffany. Locked in. Tim, I don't know where you're at, guy. I don't know what's going on with you, but you're not locked in with Maria. Abraham, I think we talked about this before. Are you a Harry Potter fan? I'm very versed. First of all, we went to the Harry Potter store together. What are we talking we about here, guy? We did. It was a while ago. It was a couple years ago. Um, I'm very versed in the Harry Potter to the point of England and Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm, I'm versed in it. Well, do you know that one scene? People make fun of it all the time. I was so proud of this message that I sent on X. Do you know the scene where Dumbledore walks up and he goes, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? The Goblet of Fire. And he's like super aggressive with him. And he's like shaking him. And he's like, oh, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? That's what it seemed like when Q ran up. It was it was Tevin talking with Tim. And Q's like, oh, I need to scope out this situation. And he pulls Maria aside says has tim talked to you about the journey yeah yeah we talked about the journey yeah but, yeah. <laughs> but has he has he talked to you has he told you about this six and she's like nope first time hearing it so he runs up on Te on tevin and um on tim and he goes he it was so funny he literally stood there like this he goes tim 
Yeah, Did you not? Edit was good. Or... The edit was great on that one. Because here's the uh, thing about it is, I can understand where it's cute coming from. We made this agreement. You go to Hunter Telvin. Telvin, you get there and it's solid. It's solid like he said it was going to be solid. And you're like, oh, okay, that's a solid one. You meet Q and Tip. It's solid. You're like, oh, okay. So they was really telling the truth. This is solid. Then you get to Tim. It's like, wait a minute, Tim. You, you didn't even tell. Oh, wait a minute. So where are we at with this? And then on top of that, Maria tells Q, oh, well, well, no, she did it in her confessional. He was like my number three. He wasn't my number one. So now it's like, wait a minute. Can we trust I was this situation? so wrong. I was so wrong about this, Abraham. Remember for the past couple of weeks, I was like, I think Tim no. and Maria are like no, tighter no, than <laughs> Now, if he'd have said uh, Ben, I'd have been like, okay, that's his number one. If he'd have said Ben. So all future players, before you select someone, make sure you got something that's kind of solidified. Because the, the example he used, he was like, well, I want her to feel it out. You can get yourself voted out for that nonsense. There ain't going to be no feelings. It's going to be voted out. Maria is a game player. She came to Survivor yeah. to play the game. Tim? I want you to look at, man, hey, I don't want to see you get voted out. I want to see you get deep in the game. But uh, next episode, I will vote you out. Well, you know what it kind of looks like? If I was sitting there, if I was on the island in this situation, the same thing happened. Q, had, as you said, Q had every right to be frustrated. And it almost feels like it almost feels like laziness from Tim to a, to a certain point. Like, I mean, you got to be frustrated. It's, if it's you're in, Q, indecisiveness. Yeah, if you're Q, it's like, I spoke to my number one ally in Tiff. Like I've got her on board. If you're Hunter, I got I spoke to Tevin about it. I got him on board. And you go up to Tim and Tim says, Yeah, I haven't talked to her yet. I'm letting her feel it out. What do you mean you're letting her feel it? The whole point of the plan is because obviously Q he said I didn't want to be the first one to bring it up because Look, that shouldn't we, be me. Like I don't want have to, my name to be out there like that. We have the halfway marker of the game. It's only 26 days. When would you going to bring it up? <laughs> I mean, when, you got to solidify. 25, he brings it up. <laughs> and I'm like, look. And then you made it look like now we done merged a little bit. Now they don't know if I'm really for real. Then you got to go back over there and talk to her. And Maria's all about it. Hey, let's do it. Hey, I'm, I'm all with that because that gives her top cover. And now she doesn't have to worry about a couple of things as she plays her game. So it works out better for Maria than it works out for Tim to me. For Tim, it kind of casts a shadow on where can he be trusted or not, where Maria is like, oh, OK, now that I know about it, I'm all about it. So now she's free to roam. But if she had to throw somebody on the bus, it, it would be Tim. Well, after let's, we get past these other folks. Let's talk about you said Hunter was your player of the episode. Got a lot of screen time, had a lot of great moments. Let's talk about someone who was my player of the episode. I think Q yeah. is I think Q is really becoming a strong survivor player. He made some, I'm sure we're going to get to tribal council and talk about that, that kind of speech he had. Cause he was making a lot of sense when he was talking to Mo about why didn't you tell me the truth earlier? Like that you, you're basically admitting to lying to me. And then not only that, but throughout the episode, him trying to figure out the tribe dynamics, very quick to find out, you know, Sega's trying to act like they're a happy family. I'm getting nothing from Sega. Whereas Nami, he called out, he said, I see the cracks. He he had a, a gr very great line that was, you know, Nami might have this Taj Mahal, this nice shelter, but they're not filling the cracks. So he, I felt like he was doing a great job figuring out the tri tribe dynamics. And another thing, Abraham, it seems like in this new era, a very important thing has been if you're on that tribe, say like a Lulu or say like a Yanu this season, that kind of got demolished. It puts you in a good position going into the mergatory because you have the other two big tribes vying for those votes. So yes, you're not immune per se. You're you're not exactly immune, but nine times out of ten, from what I'm seeing, you kind of are immune going into that first vote because the other two tribes are too focused on weakening the other that puts you primed in the middle i was almost sitting there during the episode and thinking do i what do i want to be on a tribe that gets demolished and then make it to no. the mergatory and then i'm in the middle it worked out obviously oh. for it, it worked out for um i forgot the tribe name but uh the T tika three yeah it worked out for tika 
when you had Carson. It, it all depends on the Jam Jam in the middle. Yeah, but it all it all depends on the players and how savvy the players is because Jam Jam had to play because he was on a chopping block a few. Yeah, times. he was he was on the bottom so, immediately once that mergatory hit. It, it was between him and and Josh basically. Yeah, so I think it depends on the players of that actual season and how that all kind of works out or plays in your favor. At least for that first vote, I think they're in a great position. But again, once you start demolishing one tribe, they're going to still come back and say, well, it's only three of them. We might as well get them and then battle it out. So it could go either way. But that first vote, I think Q is an excellent evaluator. Mm -hmm. I think that he definitely had the wrong conclusion with Mo. I think that was Mm -hmm. just, just you were just off target. And in doing that, now you, you're you putting a target on somebody's back that probably would have been a better ally than an adversary. So it's kind of interesting where his conclusions go sometime because um, he was ready to uh, – he voted out – no, did he want to vote out? He didn't want to vote out – Um, oh, what's my man's name? With, you know, my guy with the heart. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. You're talking Banu? Banu. He was going to keep Banu. And I'm already- like, nah <laughs> – you already forgot uh, Banu. How can- I didn't forget Banu. I'm like, but he wanted to keep <laughs> Banu over over um, Kenzie. So I'm gonna say he's a good evaluator of the situation and obtaining information because I like the way he just he's go out there. He naturally talks. And Mo's in their conversation, she was like, "Oh, he he's hitting with some hard questions. He's trying to find out information." Now you got two choices. You can give him information that benefits your situation, or you can say solid to your tribe but you got to figure out what works for your game because at the end of the day this all it comes down to is soul survivor it doesn't come down to group survivor so she had an opportunity during that conversation to make some decisions tim had an opportunity during his conversation to solidify what was said on the journey so i think he tripped up um yeah i I don't see much of ben i honestly think sega played a really for the most part, a really poor game this episode. Um, they were trying to make it seem like they were tribe strong. And doing almost. that, it almost alienated. They didn't think about the fact that it would alienate Yanu. I mean, we heard it several times this episode where they're like, oh, okay, let's let's just go ahead and talk about that feast. We're going to get to the challenge and how lopsided it was. And, and I know I'm jumping ahead here, but this goes in correlation with, you know, a big theme of this episode how Sega wanted everyone to believe that they're not giving up any names because they they all love each other and there was no cracks. They were unanimous on the gym mm-hmm. vote and they kept pushing that. And it was a weird strategy because, as I was saying, it almost alienated Yanu to be like, well, why would we want to work with you if you guys are five strong? Why would we work with you? When Nami is over here with, you know, Tevin and Hunter are very big on, you know, one, they're telling Q and Tiff, yeah, let's work with the six. Two, they're saying, we don't trust Venus whatsoever. Venus and Soda can't get along to save their their lives. So, like, Yanu, I mean, put yourself in the shoes of Yanu. Do you want to work with a tribe who is all lovey-dovey, five strong, or a tribe that they're admitting that they hate each other? You go with the tribe that's admitting they they hate each other, and that's where... Um, before, before you add on to this, Abraham, that's where the feast came in because this is when it all came to head because we had, I mean, basically they said, okay, tonight, Yanu, you're in the middle. We acknowledge that we need a name from Nami and we need a name from Sega just Mm -hmm. to keep it fair. So we can look at our options. Nami immediately Venus, get Venus out of the game. She's a snake. And then you go to Sega and no one's given up any names. It it, it, (laughs) takes. It takes until Tim goes. I mean, Mo's strategically good, so it, it was it was poor gameplay yeah. from Tim. It, it was it was wild to be at the feast, and to me, there was there was a couple of different layers in voting. You had the six that should have been solidified on. Okay, we six were together. Then you had whoever was at the feast that wasn't the six that's saying, okay, if your tribe is going to throw a name out, it's going to automatically tell me what's wrong with your tribe because now you picked somebody. And Tim was so hesitant on putting a name out there. Ben was so hesitant on putting a name out there. It's either going to be somebody's name or it's going to be your name. Either way it goes. So they can't be voted on. So you only had left. Venus was left. Charlie was left. Maria was left. And Liz was left. I'm sorry, Mo was left. So you kind of know, hey, whoever name you throw out is pretty much the person that's the bottom of your tribe. So when they put out Venus, it was automatic. Tim was like, no, nah, Venus is good. She can go. Which but is that's been going on. 
Which just throw out Mo's name because she's already the bottom of the tribe at that point. You said it last episode that Mo was on the outs. And and that was wild to me, Abraham. That they wouldn't just throw give Mo's name up. She's not, it's not gonna hurt your game in the end if it means getting no, you the don't three want, young. You don't, want that, you don't want that stink on you, man, that you did that, that you thought that you that a brother had Ben said, which Ben was so Ben is my guy, man. But Ben was worse than Tim. I was like, y'all gonna have to make some decision in this game either to go further. But we see that they, they come up with two names and people are honest about, hey, we're going to see, hey, who I'm voting for. It's either going to be you or it's going to be her. It's going to be one of y'all two. Pick, y'all can figure that one out. Now you got to figure out who's voting for who. I need so Abraham out there to say that because I know Abraham in this moment yeah. would be hilarious. He would be like, look, y'all figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you get back. Hey, y'all figure it out and get back to me because I'm like, eventually y'all going to come around with a name or it's going to be somebody that we select. And then you're going to get one of your allies voted out. So it's best to say, okay, somebody got to say a name. But you know who name they didn't say? Charlie. Well, Charlie's name got brought up by Mo tonight. It did get brought up when, no, not Mo, Venus. No, Venus. 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 Venus wanted to vote Charlie. She said, why are we voting out? Why are we targeting Mo when Charlie is a much bigger player? And Abraham, you just mentioned it not too long ago. The fact of like you felt Q chose the wrong person here. And you, yeah. you know, should he have went with someone like Charlie? Because th this goes back, no, Abraham. No, not, 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 not Charlie. Hold not on, Charlie. This goes back to me saying Venus is a good player because she was making sense. Why are we going to vote out Mo, someone who is not a threat and didn't look like she was a threat, and not go after someone who is a clear threat like Charlie in this game? Now, the thing I give Venus credit. Venus is playing the game like it should be played. She is surviving in Survivor. She is building a resume of a survivor because here's the thing about it is Venus is playing. She's throwing it off on someone else. Q is the driving force of why we got Mo in the chopping block. Had he not identified her with another player that played survivor uh, before, we wouldn't have Mo on there because Mo is really not a threat at this time. No. Now, here's the interesting thing. You got Venus saying, no, let's go ahead and put Charlie out there. But again, Q says it's seven women to five men. So we're going to vote a woman out so we can get the numbers balanced back because you can always have that all women, all men alive come up and you want to try to keep it as even as possible. So, again, there are multitudes of different strategies going on and we've seen them all play out. Everybody has a strategy and they're trying to play their strategy out and see what benefits them. So then we say, OK, let's get to the part of mergatory that nobody really wants to do, which is the challenge. Yeah, and it's like. Where these rocks at? Where do they get these rocks at? Are you using the same rocks? Are you repainting the rocks? I saw Can I someone... get a bigger or different rock? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're you're talking the big boulders is what you're what you're no 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 to. no. I'm talking about the rocks in the back. Oh, just a small one. Yeah, it's just Those they paint the them. They're just taking gray rocks and painting. But I, I but I will say I saw someone online tweet about this or whatever you want to call it. I, I was really active on social media tonight. By the way, use the hashtag SMP to communicate with us. Um. But I saw someone, Abraham, literally say, okay, if we're if we're stuck, if we have to do this mergatory thing, like Jeff, we have to do it, you're not budging, why don't we at least let them pick, like schoolyard pick, just like classic survivor? Because then oh, there, okay. there's at least some strategy to it. Like hold you on, could be on. like, right, hold on. <laughs> Imagine this. If we're working together, Abraham, and I know one of these sides are going to go to tribal council and I'm the team captain. I'm going to look and I'm going to be like, let's see. Well, maybe Abraham's got a hurt leg or something, but I need him on my, on my side because if we win, we're both safe. And, you know, I don't want us to be on separate teams here because if one of us loses, that means one of us is going to be in danger no matter what. So we either need to both be in danger and work together or both be safe. So there would be so much strategy to who you pick to be on your team if Survivor opened that up to the players, but they, they just want to make the game luck-based and random, so we have to do this rock draw. Now, here's the thing. Did you think the division of the cast were fair or unfair based off of rocks tonight? Oh, my gosh. It was uh, – you know what? No, hey, no, 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 no. Was it fair or unfair? Based off of rocks tonight. You know what? I don't think it was unfair. Now, hold up now. Are you saying that because 
if they didn't have probably one more minute, if they one more minute, they would have won. No, I I don't think it was a minute. If they had, if they switched. It's TV time. In TV time is a minute. No, no. What I'm saying, if they switched Charlie with Hunter, they would have won because. No, I'm keeping no, the same no, listen, they, no, listen, they caught up. They were right there. I was viewing it. I was trying to look when they showed both tribes to see if it was camera work or if they were actually close. They mm-hmm. were actually right on their tail until Hunter got to this part of the puzzle. And as soon as he got to that part, you heard Jeff say, Hunter is flying. You heard Tevin say, um, Hunter oh, is a, a puzzle <laughs> with, you heard this. So like Hunter is just, he won the challenge tonight. It was close. They caught back up. And if, yeah, Hunter, they play, wasn't I mean, on that, if Hunter wasn't on that puzzle, it was really going to come down to the wire. And Hunt, I mean, it got to the point, Abraham, Q wasn't even doing the puzzle. He was just handing pieces to Hunter, and Hunter was placing it. Yeah, but, you you know, season 41, challenge of the puzzle. Shout out to Erica. She beats that puzzle. She she was on that puzzle. And that's the thing about it is, but if you first see that challenge, you look at this course, you look at what needed to be done, the pulling up, the jumping, the mud, and you got those rocks out there, you're just like, oh, man, they about to beat the brakes off of them. That was a close challenge. I mean, going through the nets, they were behind. Oh, they I were, thought they uh, were almost a person behind. On the I nets. thought Kenzie broke. You're, you're talking the first nets, but the, the one coming net. down, the one coming down. I thought Kenzie broke her leg. The way they they oh, added no, like no. a dink noise. I will add this from uh, Jesus. Uh, it was not fair. No. I mean, you gotta look at you gotta look, you gotta look. You can't look at the you can't look at the beginning and not look at the end and say it was competitive. It was a competitive. I was and just saying, it could have went either way. You can't look male and female because that's no. why I was like. Mm, Honestly, for this challenge, I don't think it was unfair because, like you said, Orange had the lead in the nets and then Purple passed, and then Orange caught right back up. They were right there at the end on the puzzle. It was close. I think it depends on the challenge. Now, if this was a challenge all about, like, in Survivor Australia, we see holding up your, you know, weight, like everyone has uh, to hold we, up combined we, weight, then Purple would have dominated. Hold it up one time. Well, we saw one dude hold up. An insurmountable amount of weight, and he still blood it. versus blood versus water. That's a good yeah, call, out was, right? <laughs> but he was he was solo doing it. I think that we look at it and say, okay, yeah, if they'd have had one more other person, they would have won. They were right there. I'm just saying that some point in that trial, they because matter of fact, when they went to number two, when at the second part of the puzzle, they were on top of them. They were neck and neck on the second part. They went to the third part a little bit before they did, and Hunter, they had Hunter, yeah, they had Hunter, but they still was competitive. They were only one or two pieces behind them when it was all said and done, and it was like, wait a minute, is this is what Venus was saying on a, on the podcast earlier? It's going to be exciting. It was exciting because at that point, I didn't know who was going to finish first. I was like, man, y'all got the dominant size. I mean, tell me y'all not going to win, and I was like, uh oh, who? So I'd already thought about who they going to vote out on that side. I didn't even think about yep. that they was going to lose. I was like, well, Q about to get voted out or Hunter, Hunter, he ain't got no vote. He about to get voted out, which would have shifted the game a whole another direction. But it was a competitive challenge start to finish because they fun. led. Yeah. yeah. But I was, I'm going to tell you like everybody else, when I saw when they pulled the rocks out and I saw who was, who was available for each one, I was like, oh, it's going to be a murder. And <laughs> it was not. I give my hats off to them. It was not. They competed the entire time. It was fun to watch. And they maneuvered that course. I don't know why they keep digging up mud and throwing on Survivor because mud ain't there they, like that. You, yeah, you got to – they make you go through the mud Stop. and get dirty immediately. I'll tell you one thing I really liked about that challenge too. Um, a couple things. One, the editing team, great job. When they were arriving, those shots of them walking into the challenge, kind of badass. Like there was a yes, couple badass nice, shots yeah. tonight. Uh, the other thing, I'm going to bring it up one more time. When I first saw this, I got mad and I went, oh, we have to do the uh, puzzle we've done already. Why can't we do something new? Have we really ran out of puzzle ideas? But I loved the fact that they changed it up time. and I respected that. Honestly, Abe, maybe they should start doing this for puzzles. I liked it. It's like no one, well, they changed what? it. They changed it. I think they changed it maybe because of Carson. But it's like, yeah, maybe you have someone like Hunter who is used to these puzzles. I'm sure Hunter has put this puzzle together before. 
But you know what? It's basically Survivor saying you can't rely on one person to dominate the puzzle. Y'all no. have to do it. You all have to do it. You're only as strong as your weakest player. I like to play now. Now, have they done this before where everybody goes to vote? I thought uh, it was just the tribe, the tribe that the tribe yeah, that I think lost that was is the only one can vote. Too. What's up, Ryan? I'm just saying hi to my brother. <laughs> What's yeah, up, I thought it was, I was like, he said, everybody go to vote. Nobody you can't vote for is the ones that won. And I was like, wait a minute, that, that changes the dynamics now because now if they didn't have a vote, they stay back. They don't need to be there to vote. So that means the numbers are cut and you can control it even more on who gets voted out, which I think most still would have got voted out, but I'm not sure. Yeah. That, so I think that was some difference. So I think they they tweak stuff, they add stuff, but I do like that dimension where they get to go vote, be a voting member to see what's going to happen and see who's going to be picked to be voted out. Yeah. But the challenge, the challenge was good. It was a good challenge. No, challenge was good. And I agree a thousand percent, Abraham. I loved that everyone voted because what do I what do I not like when you take votes away? I love that even though you won, you still have a say in who's going home tonight at this very, very critical part of the game. I applaud Survivor. They changed stuff tonight that I was really happy about. And you said, Abraham, you keep saying, look, they're learning. They're learning. Give them time. Uh, each season keeps getting better. But we're going to take a, a quick break. We got so much more to talk about. When we come back, line. we're going to talk about all that scheming about who is going to go home between Venus and Mo. We're going to talk more about that. We're going to talk about how tribal council went. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome everyone to Expedition Online Season 6. Hi everyone. Hey Queen's Army. We've got King George and Queen Sandra. I'm so <laughs> right now. Everybody looks ready in 3, 2, 1, go. These questions are hard. Ooh, Kara gets the first one. I feel okay. bad throwing out names, so I will gladly go if anyone has any ideas. Sandra is voting for him. She is? What about Eli? What if we just blindside his ass? For you and I, keeping our names at a conversation and then having these quick check-ins. I feel so, so hard. I'm so, so sweaty. Got another twist coming in today. Holy shit. Now you gotta switch into game mode. Use your emotions, use who you are. Take every opportunity. I promise you, I do not have the compass. Where I don't have it. Okay, you have a minute. We got about someone. The fact that my name was even in your mouth, you say something in my web of people, it's coming back to me. Don't ever be too comfortable in the game. Glory or death to the end. But most importantly, play to win. And take out King George's faithful soldiers, boo. Expedition yeah, online. What'd you say, Abraham? I just text Hunter. It's like I hope you kept that box for that and uh, <laughs> immunity item. Um, before we get started, man, I like to say give you all a cautionary story about that wine. They had them bottles of wine. Let me tell you something. Thirteen days might not seem a lot, but wine gonna hit you differently after thirteen days. And sometimes people give up more information that's needed because they got a little bit of wine in them. So be conscious of. The marriage feast because it could put you down for the a. Hey, it's gonna put you down for the count. Well, I just You're gonna be laid to, out somewhere. I just talked to a Survivor player the other day who they had margaritas on the latest season oh, of uh, Survivor Australia, and she said the guys down the margaritas and they were sick for like a whole day. Yeah, your body, your body says resistance is futile, and you got to go lay down for a little while. So that wine put them down, and the meal put them down. And then they was, they, they was, I was funny because when they came back to try, they was like, hey, tell us about the feast. I'd be like, I'm going to sit on this chair or this ground or whatever Hunter made for me. And I'm just going to relax for a minute. But be careful of the mergatory feast. It, it could come back to bite you. Abraham, what did you think of the merge buff tonight? Because I got mine. I should have got the 20%. I found the code after I paid it. So I bought for it <laughs> without the 20% off. So dumb on my part. So, but I immediately ordered it. I like the buff. It's like a dark um, red. It's like a little black. Got some lizards Yeah, but on it's, it. for them, it's their season. I, I I got my buff. So I don't really, where's my buff at? You know, what's funny yeah. is I'm always sitting in here, but my buff, you know what buff I do have in here? What? Um, the one from South Africa. Oh, that Dino sent you. Dino sent me. Well, I you can, can barely see, see it, oh, everyone. Downstairs. It, you can barely see it, but the lizard behind Abraham, that's the color of the buff, that oh. red lizard. So, yeah. Yeah. So, nice so I have, detail. I have, hold on, let me. 
Oh, Abraham's out. Ah, uh, there we go. They sent us our buff in these little things here. Season 41 buff. Got my name on it. Everything. And it, actually, I got it in the same Ziploc bag. Hold on. Same Ziploc bag. Does it smell like? Yeah, man, it's the buff. Yep. My buff. So I keep it in my bag. I got to do something with this. I keep saying I'm going to do something with it, but they sent it to us. And we get to keep our buffs. And yeah, you need to mount that is what you need to do. A nice little, like, frame. Um, I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff framed up. I got letters and stuff that we got from CBS and stuff when we got selected and when we got back and stuff like that. Um, these are my letters. Yeah, I don't know who handwriting it was. It wasn't the best handwriting, but what is this? We don't got off track. Hold on. <laughs> this has turned into Survivor Show and Tell. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is my card. This is my Survivor card. Where did I get this from? Probably Katie Tedesco. She does the cards. This came from California. I'm not sure where I got that from. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. So we got a cool letter. Ah, oh, that's cool. So I'm um, eventually I will put this where it's supposed to be in a nice frame and put it up on my wall. As my experience of Survivor is the thing that keeps on giving, so I can't complain. Um, but the buffs, man, they're 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 you know what. For me, it's like I have my bus. I'm going to be y'all yellow forever. So I probably won't wear another buff because it's their season. I got to change the color. I, I have this yellow for the pre-show. Hold on. See, it knew Mike, yeah, so, and I got to test it out. There we go. Change the color. We'll change it to blue. Yeah, so I probably won't do the – I won't do their mergatory buffs. And I noticed that they I threw their buffs the in the fire. I would have been right in that fire. So what's going to happen is they're going to take those buffs. And the ones that they did for merge, where they say drop your buff, they'll package those buffs up, and they'll when the season's over, they'll send them to them. So they'll get all their buffs. And yeah, stuff. I I went ahead. I don't have to wait for them to send it. I went ahead and bought one. I will be having it when we go to the Bryson Win Present Party in New York City. We'll get to that later. We'll talk about that later. Um. Anyways, back to the strategy. What happened this episode? So Abraham. Uh. Let's let's walk through. So it was it, it was looking like it was either going to be Mo or Venus. These were the two names that were thrown out. We already talked about the feast a little bit where Sega didn't want to give up a name. And finally, it was Tim who said, if I had to say a name, I would say Mo. And this gets back to Venus and Mo. Mo starts freaking out about it, trying to stay calm. Venus is madder than a hornet, pulling the girls together and yeah. saying, why are we voting out Mo? Is it just because she's a super fan? Or is it because she's a female? Because we need to keep the women strong. I do not want to vote out a woman. We sh And we should be voting out someone who is a threat in Charlie, not Mo. It made sense. And I, I thought for a yeah, second, second, Venus... Charlie just wasn't a big threat. Few people. Charlie just wasn't a big threat on anybody's radar. He wasn't... He was, his name was never thrown out by anybody other than Venus. So, so you think he wasn't if, a big threat. So you think if she threw out like a different name, say like a hunter, a hunter couldn't be voted for. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do like you did. You got to find the cracks and say a name that they, they don't have a problem agreeing with. Cause you gotta remember now, Tim and them all, Tim and Ben also said Mo. So even though Q had a conversation with her and he kind of thought she was a super fan and she had some skill sets that were going to come into play, you still have to have somebody on her tribe solidify. Yeah. We're, we're feeling that she's at the bottom of our tribe. So when Tim said Mo, it just solidified what Q was already thinking about her, saying, oh, okay, well, you, you really at the, the bottom of your tribe. We thought it, but they confirmed it. Now, Venus wanted to throw in Charlie. Charlie really wasn't a good name because who's going to solidify it? It wasn't going to be Tim because Tim went to Charlie and was like, hey, man, we did hear your name on a whisper, and but there's nothing going to come out of it. So you kind of got to figure out who's – you really got to figure out doing the merge who's on the bottom. Because that's who you can get more traction on. Now, what I do like about it is Charlie didn't sweat it. We didn't see Charlie do anything. He didn't go anywhere. He was Charlie, like, he's playing really good, man. Charlie's playing a really good game. He got a little edit saying, hey, my name might be out there, but I'm not going to worry about it. We don't see – oh, Ben was on the winning trial, so he didn't have to worry about it. And that's another thing. We had a, we had a gang of players that won that didn't have to worry about voting at all. So it's like – You okay. know who it really worked out for? And I mean, really, Hunter, 
Because remember that whole, oh, what oh, yeah, happens? He, he lost two votes. Like, remember that whole fiasco yeah. we talked about on the pre show about how does that work? He hasn't found the idol, so he can't vote. And then he also lost his vote. He found the idol, so he got his vote back, but he still couldn't vote because of that, because he lost last week the journey challenge. And then guess what? He went to tribal. He wasn't, he wasn't in contention of going home. He was safe, no. couldn't vote. Whoa. This was, was this was perfect for Hunter. Yeah. And he has a hidden immunity idol that nobody knows about. See, yeah. Hunter, Hunter came up on the on the positive side, but I think in, even if he didn't and he was on the losing tribe, his name still wouldn't have come up because one, we just had to merge and nobody's gonna vote for Hunter. Nobody. So not at this time are you worrying about Hunter. Now, what I will say is next time as we do individual immunity. People are gonna say who's shining. Now it's gonna it's gonna turn on the who oh well that, that's a challenge beast. Yeah. You only did one challenge. So they're a challenge beast. We got to look out for them. So we're gonna kind of see that narrative kind of peek its head up. But I'm gonna tell you who to look out for. Look out for Maria. Oh, uh, Maria's Maria been a boss of the challenges all year. Yeah, she all came year. out, yeah. she came to play Survivor and she's gonna be kicking butt up in here. But I'm, I'm, I really want to see them play now. I really want to see them play now where now we've switched it up and it's individual survivor, individual game, working with others, strategy playing, and who's getting on whose nerve. So well, it's going to be pretty easy. Abraham, I'll say Hunter needs to, I think Hunter needs to win out because people have already I'm, seen I'm how good he's, telling he's, there. he's been, he's yeah. been done. That is Abraham, you know, one person is not enough to keep you safe in this game. Yeah, but it's enough to pull some people. I'm, I'm telling you, something tells me that that alliance of, I hate to even say it, six. You, that, what the, alliance of six? Tim doesn't have Maria. I, 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 just, I just said even I hate to say it. Said she's kind of interested. I, I just, she's yeah, kind I just of interested. say it because that's the, that's, the, that's the unsettling part right there. They had an opportunity to build an alliance of six that could really do some things. So, you know, it's tight with Tiffany. You know, Tiffany's tight with McKenzie. So it, I think that's going to work for him in their favor going into the next vote. So they're yep. at least going to be three strong. So we ain't got to worry about them being picked on because somebody going to swing to try to vote somebody out of the other two tribes that are still stacked. But Abraham, there's going to be a moment. Oh, you yeah. Can't, you can't deny Hunter has dominated these challenges. Jeff keeps calling it out. Tevin keep saying to everyone oh once hunter gets it it's not if he comes out next week and he wins this immunity challenge and then he goes out the next week and wins again you don't Great. think that that six are going to be like all right moment hunter so. loses we got to get him out i hope so because then he can play his hidden immunity idol because the thing is who's who's out there on the island right now who can compete with hunter maybe q q, q. q. and it. um hold on Wait maria a i'll give it maria maria has looked solid q. Here's the thing about it is every challenge is not physical. So he doesn't need it to be physical. He's a puzzle. Puzzles, guy. Yeah, he might get you on a puzzle. But again, <laughs> I'm gonna say Ben, I'm gonna say Charlie's a competitor too. Charlie's a competitor. I, I can't give him a just a straight victory based off winning. But if he if he goes for the super wins and wins them all and he got a hidden immunity out of, I'm gonna put him in the top five. I got a I got a hot take. Five. I got a hot take for you. Hunter's gonna win at least four immunity individual immunity challenges this year i get it at least four um okay let's talk about this tribal council we do have we do have a question here actually before we get to tribal council but don't you think hunter talked too much absolutely stop going to tribal council having a diatribe conversation keep it simple keep it quiet he was just talking Tri now. <laughs> tribal council yes but he kept his idol quiet which is such oh, yeah. a, a huge move now, here's what I will say. I wish, and I think this is the same, I've said this about another player. I wish Mo had a played her game like she played Tribal Council. She had a very good, oh, Kimberly also adds here. I do think Tim messed up by not filling Maria in. Yeah, definitely talked about that earlier. It was a, <laughs> a very big mistake yeah. from Tim. Um, but yeah, I mean, that Tribal Council, Abraham, I thought her final speech oh, was I loved it. great. Her final pitch of, I've said what I needed to say. I'm a loyal player. If you get rid of me, you're getting rid of the more loyal player. Loved it. L absolutely loved it. She no. did that without calling out any names. But at that point, I think everyone had already convinced themselves they were voting Mo. It is a little uh, too little too late. And the well, no, that, here's, 
Oh, I'm sorry, but here, here's no, who kicked ahead. the chair out from under. This who kicked the chair. Q kicked the chair Q. from under her again. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, Q, we know she could have told you ahead of time. But again, she's playing strategy for her game. So, I mean, again, how many times we don't have live tribal where people get up and start voting and changing their votes? She, I think she did it at the right time because she didn't know where everybody else was going to be at. But I wish we'd have saw her, her style of playing and who she was doing the game. We really didn't see a lot of edits of Mo. Um, we don't see a lot of edits of Liz. And I, I wish we see their game before they get on that, that tribal council. And then you got to defend yourself and, and not get voted out. Um, and Venus didn't have no care in the world about being voted out. I was like, man, hold on. She is sitting there with the, such confidence. Like Venus called him out. Venus called out the entire plan of like the, the head Kings over here and even had Hunter going, Oh geez. Like, so Venus yes. is not, that's why I love Venus. And that's why when Tegwith compared her to Those Courtney, you. Courtney Yates. Oh, Courtney. Yeah, it makes sense. Party. It that, ma that makes sense. But the thing with Mo and when Q pulled the rug out from under her, the whole, yeah. Mo, I understand you're telling the truth, but you've already lied to me. We had a full conversation where I asked you about the tribe dynamics. I asked you about the vote for Jim and you said it was unanimous. You've already lied to me. And when Q was doing his speech of like, do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand? He even had Mo saying, oh, that's fair. Told you. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he, his thing about it is he could have said, hey, is that right? Is that right over there? Is that is she, is she, is she truthful? And they said, yeah. Now you got to look at it and say, okay, I might need to switch this vote because now you know where she's really at. She's because here's the thing about it is if she tells you in tribal, they confirm that it was it wasn't just an unanimous vote, and you vote out um Venus. Now you know she's still on the bottom. She is definitely on the bottom now. If she wasn't all the way at the bottom before, she's at the bottom now. So you can be like, okay, come on over here with us. We look at what you said, we believe you, you can ride with us now. But here's the thing about it is Venus had an agenda to vote out Charlie. Don't know why. No, why she upset with Charlie. I don't know how you upset with threat. Charlie. And, well, she said it can't be a girl, and Charlie was the only guy. By the way, I didn't say it earlier. Props to Charlie on that uh, immunity challenge. He took it like a champ. Charlie, it, was, it was it yeah. was Charlie's angels again. It was Charlie and the girl. <laughs> I mean, look, if you go back and look at the challenge, man, I, I my hands are off to him for being competitive. I didn't take anything from anybody on the challenge because you never know who's going to win the challenge. It looks like it was uneven, man, but they got in there and started kicking cans around. They was like, if you're going to get this one, you're going to come to get it. But Even it was, when the challenge was over, they was like, hey, y'all really came to play. So, no, nah, that was a good challenge. But it was, it was Charlie and the girls, Charlie and Taylor Swift. I mean, it, it's Taylor I'm going to message Charlie and say, man, you're always with these girls out here. <laughs> Give us your tricks. But, no, back to Tribal Council. I mean – so, yeah, it was definitely going to be hard for Mo in an uphill battle to to get the votes. We got a couple things here. Jesus says, or Jesus, however you say, if I was Mo, I would have tried to make them think that she had an idol. Definitely. I, I just don't see that coming. No, from. Go, go back to go back to the part where they said she was a outgoing introvert. Yeah, that's not I don't, that's not who she is. I don't see her doing that. Here's a great question from hello that I've saved from earlier. Why do we think the rest of Sega voted Mo? This also caught me off guard. The one person who didn't, the one person from Sega who didn't vote Mo was Charlie. Charlie voted Venus. Every other vote was for Mo. And she that was Mo. It's still interesting. Sega didn't, Sega could yeah. have easily voted v Venus. I think here's my answer to that. Hello. I think the reason that Sega voted Venus, or not Venus, sorry, Mo. To stay face. I think they knew that Yanu was going to vote Mo because they've been having conversations all day. I think Siga knew that Yanu was going to go with uh, Nami. <clears throat> so they had two options here. Either A, they could vote for Fe Venus. To, I, I can't talk, sorry. They could still vote for Venus. But at that point, it's useless. If you already know the vote's ending up on Mo, what does that really do other than piss off Nami and say, oh, you, you're going to stay strong so there's no cracks? And you're showing Yanu, oh, there really is no cracks. Or you could join Yanu, join Nami, vote out the main target, which is Mo, and you save face a little bit with them. Well, now they didn't show are, everybody's vote. 
They only yeah, they like did. No, they, they sh- no, not like during the time, but they, they did okay. it in that, like after the credits where they showed all the votes. All the votes were so, on no except for Charlie's. So, yeah, I mean, and Charlie they gave the name of, like I told when we did the, when we did the pre-show, I said, look, she didn't know about the vote on Gemma, so she was already at the bottom. On Jim, yeah. Yeah, Jim. So she was already at the bottom. So you didn't tell her. So usually you come back that night, they let you say, hey, why'd you vote? Why did you know? Why didn't anybody tell me? We didn't even get that in conversation. So she was already at the bottom. So we knew if anybody was going, it was going. Now, what I am surprised about it is how did we end up voting everybody for Mo, which was the, which was the plan, versus Venus? So nobody wanted to split any votes. Thank goodness. I get tired of people trying to split votes. <laughs> now, yeah, I, mean, I think Venus might have something. I think it, she might have she might have something. I'm, I'm just, she just no. gives off that 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 aura like no, she's just calm. That's the player she is. She's yeah. just calm. I love Venus. I think she's past Hunter is my favorite this season. I absolutely love watching Venus. Um it, she's just confident. I think that's what it is. She doesn't oh, care. She's Toronto. not she's not, yeah, she's not playing this game to make friends that this is literally the type of player Abraham we've been begging for uh, it. Cause one thing that did, I know I've been Mr. Positive shockingly. I, I really did enjoy this episode. The one complaint that I had is we're still, we're hugging after the challenge. We're patting everyone on the back. Like I, I need more fire. I need some pettiness. Whoa. That's what I love from Venus. She's petty. She's not scared to, to go out there and kind of be an asshole to people. She's I'm not saying she's being an asshole, but she's telling people she being an asshole. how it, I, I, we need that. And I love her for it. Be yourself and tell people off. Like, come on. Look, Charlie already said, uh, it's going to be some, it's going to be some beat downs. So it's coming. You're going to get the fireworks. It's coming next episode. <laughs> so we've already, think, look, we've already kicked off the, the new- wrong decision tonight. Do you think they should have went with Venus over Mo? If they wanted peace and quiet in the trial, they went with Mo. But again, they went, Venus is there. So now you're dealing with a player that sees that she can sway the vote coming back to play the game. So we're about to see who, who's going to be the next. Everything is going to come to light when who gets voted out next. Because now you don't have a mergatory. You don't have, oh, we got to do this or do that. No. Individual immunity. Everybody's up for grabs. Now, oh, and let's not forget, Jeff said two players getting voted out. Two. You know what that sounds like to me? It sounds like where they split them up and then two people win immunity and then both tribes go to tribal council. That's exactly what it well, sounds that, like. That's what we usually expect. We know we don't know what's coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and say whatever it is, we lose in two next week. Yeah. So if we lose in two players next week, my money is on Tim. <laughs> <laughs> if Tim don't get this, this is the last six, six right. I was gonna say you just said the six could he stay gotta together. Get, he, he, he gotta get it together. If he doesn't get this six together, there's a jeopardy. He's at jeopardy. So we gotta we can't we don't we don't even really know until we figure out who wins immunity. You know what I would like to see is that when you stay in the water and see if you can hold your breath forever, uh one of the cages. That that'll be a good one for next yeah, next. last we gotta see it. Last breath. But uh yeah, yes, yeah, so, I mean I saw people tonight say this was the best mergatory episode. Of the new era. I think I'll agree with that. I liked it. It wasn't that messy. For the most part, it was fair besides the rock draw. But everyone got to vote, which made it a little bit more fair. So you could work with your alliance and use your alliance. I liked it, Abraham. I think overall, I think we covered pretty much everything. Definitely the big talking points from this episode. Uh, The only thing I didn't cover is what the hell did Tevin say when they were coming up on the beach? He was like... I'm a Nuka Naka Waka Wa, or he no, said something I'm, weird like that. No, I'm, I'm from, hold up, where's Tim from? I'm from Georgia, dude. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm from the I'm from the A. Let me see here. Tevin is from Virginia. It's a different part of Virginia. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to text him and ask him, man. Hey, what what does that translate into, guy? Because I don't yeah, know. But Survivor he wanted to even really, translate it. Yeah, they could. First of all, you got to figure out where it's from. Oh, also, um, also, Abraham, would you rather be a? Hold on, let me let me see here. Would you rather be a living fool or a dead know-it-all? I think I'm already a living fool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be a living fool, man, because a dead know-it-all. That I mean, that don't even sound good. I, <laughs> I wouldn't even put them. Two, I wouldn't even put them sentences together like that. Hold up, man. I think is he going live? 
Hold on for a sec. Let's see if he go. I think he's going live. Um, I don't know what he said, and but I know at the end he said, "Hey, I want to welcome everybody here and just you know try to try to get settled in because you got to get settled in with people that you've never met. You've seen them before, but it's not like you sit over there talking to them. And be like, hey, well, what's he up? said he said he was going to uh, form some connections, but I think we've covered everything, which means we have to get you guys ready for what's coming up this week on the Survivor Now podcast, Abraham. We talked about this earlier on the pre-show. We got some great stuff, my friend. We do. We do. Uh, so on tomorrow, sorry, on tomorrow, tomorrow, join Tegwith and Kara with special guests. Yes, this thumbnail needs updated because they will be joined by season 45 castaway, Miss Kendra. And mm -hmm. I'm so excited to have her on. Uh, so she will be joining Survivor Social tomorrow. I should have had the last name prepared. You guys know who I'm talking about. Abraham yeah, Kendra, Kendra is, is, is fabulous to meet in person. If you I was get gonna, to meet her in person, man, she's fabulous. Well, Randy, you met her in person. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we both yeah. met her last year in Los Angeles. Super fun time. That's going to be an incredibly fun podcast. If you saw the podcast last week, they did with Franny. That was incredibly fun. fun. And this week they've got uh, Kendra. And then on uh, that's going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern time, by the way. And then on Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern time, Join Jack and Will for our power ranking show as they break down which castaways are on the rise and which castaways are on the fall. And then on Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, it's our final recap show of the week. Got something for you. Uh, hosted by Matthew, Phil, and Ollie. They will take you moment by moment with screenshots of the episode, making sure they cover every little detail and getting you ready for what could be to come moving forward in Survivor right. 46. Matthew is, is is that guy out there in the street, man. He was at the premiere party, and he got the shout-out from Venus to Ali. Man, look at you, Ali, getting a shout-out. Oh, he did. He did absolutely incredible tonight. Incredible job at the Bryson Wynn event. Um, also, if you are a fan of Survivor Australia, Titans v. Rebels, we had some very in-depth, hour-long interviews this week we spoke with eileen we spoke with valeria and we spoke with the winner uh ferris basal you can check all of those extended interviews on our channel or survivornowpodcast.com and then on friday 8 a.m eastern time wake up early with us we'll be speaking with the movie loving man himself eden on what actually took place out there in samoa during his time on the show and then, uh, as I as I stated, Matthew was with the Bryson Wynn event tonight in Pittsburgh. You can check out all of that on our Instagram stories. And that leads me to Abraham. What do you have lined up, my friend? Um, you know what? I was going to show it, but <laughs> I wanted to show something else. Hold up. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. I, I don't know what he's showing. I think it's here. Or did I make a picture? No, you do stuff in the. Hey, Abraham, you got to get it up. We're just dying in silence here. I know. I look, I can't do it because I can't find it. But I will be in Dallas next Wednesday for the Bryson Wynn Presents watch party for everybody that's up in the Dallas area. Also, I will be there kicking it off again. There Omar it is. It's back over the edge. Celebrity Weekend, they're starting to send out who's going to be on the guest list. We got Mama from Big Brother. That's going to be fun. So it's starting to kick off now. They're putting together the actual guest list. Uh, Sandra and Season 41, and I don't know why I forgot my own cast member's name mm -hmm. offhand, but it'll come back to me in a minute. Where's Season 41? Um, here we go. We ain't even got to worry about it. The guy Tarzan will be down there this year. So we got Heather, Sandra. We got Tarzan going to be there. So we're starting to kick off. It's going to be a, a different event. Omar moved over to a different charity. So if you've ever attended the event in Florida, it's going to be back on. More information to follow from Omar's page. But it looks like we're kicking off another one charity event down there uh, this December 5th to the 7th. So we'll be in Florida. It's travel season. 
Get ready. It's travel season because I already mentioned New York finale only I, like six or seven weeks away, probably seven ish weeks away. And there's going to be quite a lot of Survivor Now members in New York. So you want to make sure you do not miss this out. You can meet a lot of us. Abraham, I believe we'll be there. This is our third straight finale. Ah, uh, this is our this is my third. This is the third third straight finale. We did the premiere party. Oh, Before we did that. So, yeah. Oh, because I did a Canada premiere party. If, if they ever put it back in well, Canada, I'm talking you and me, like meeting up. This will be our um, we've four... done New York. We've done New York three times. This will be That's our third time. time in New York. Yeah. Third time in New York and one time in LA. Yeah. So okay. Abraham, it's, it's just stuck with me. We're seeing each other every year now. Now we're seeing each other like twice a year. He's a bad traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm a fun traveler. Yeah. That's, a bad that's traveler. I'm a bad traveler. I think I'm going to be Randy. by myself this time, Abraham. Randy was in LA. Oh, I want that's off. That's hey, have be off air. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows what we're talking about now. That's off air. Um, yeah, man, New York should be pretty fun, man. It's going to be a finale, man. I, right now, I still don't know who's going to win this season of Survivor. And yeah, as always, I'm not going to start looking at 47 until you know we get at least three more weeks into this and kind of get an idea of who might be the sole survivor, but it's, it's, it's heating up. I mean, this was a good episode and I'm, it's going to be fireworks. Never episode. We got individual immunity on the line. We got, Hey, who's going to buddy up with who, who's going to keep the alliances. So now it's time to play survivor. I can't say it any better than that. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media. Our own personal social medias are below our names at Abraham underscore 99 underscore 99 at I'm Randy Bruce and follow the channel on Instagram at Survivor Now Podcast. This was a good episode. This is positive, Randy. I was positive and I genuinely enjoyed this episode. So maybe the season is going to start heating up a little bit more now that we're multiple weeks removed from you know who. We will do this all again <laughs> next week. Abraham will not be here, but I will be joined by a no, special guest to be determined. But we'll talk to you guys later.